Hello, everyone. I have an incredible person here with me today. I know I say that all the time, but I'm so fortunate to have people like Dr. Philip Agrios on the show, who will just call Phil. Phil, um, let's tell everybody what you do and who you are. Uh, basically, I work with business owners, executives, and entrepreneurs who hire me in order for them to get rid of any success blocks that they may have. And we do that by helping them to uncover a inborn survival trait that they're born with. Yes, mm. they're born with, and you can't get rid of it. And it doesn't, it, so we call it the inborn sabotage trait. So it doesn't protect, it only protects you. It doesn't undermine you. It protects you from the very success that you seek because that success subconsciously is more painful. So we never go to that point. So we help them to uncover that and then give them what we call the antidote, which actually switches it off instantly and it works 100% of the time. Wow. That is so incredible because I think we're all looking for solutions um, to work a hundred percent of the time. That's an incredible right. stat right there. And how, you know, in our initial conversation, what intrigued me on ha in having you on the show is something about self-sabotage. And that's what we're talking about here. So let's lean into that a little bit more and what you mean by unlocking these things that we have in, in, inside of us that hold us back. Yeah. Well, first of all, people think sabotage is they're doing it on purpose. They they need to be punished subconsciously or all these other different things. Sabotage is just a protection. There's only two things we do. We protect, we grow, we contract, we expand, we give and take, we're vibrational beings. So when you start to release your personal professional power and you start to feel uncomfortable, your saboteur, the inborn sabotage trait kicks in to protect you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not an idiot or a loser, or all the other hundred words we say to ourselves. You're just protecting yourself. So imagine as you start to go into that uncomfortable point, and then you start to contract, imagine knowing exactly why you're protecting yourself, and then use the antidote, which is the exact opposite to the inborn sabotaging trait. So you have to to now go into growth immediately. So instead of going into the hamster wheel like this, you go up, contract a little bit, up, contract a little bit, and now you're doing this to expand and evolve you because the inborn sabotage traits there to evolve you. It brings the adversities in, in order for you to continue moving forward because that's why we're here. Unfortunately, people think that Everything should go well for them. And I'm like, well, you don't understand why you're here. You're here for the contrast. You're here for the challenges. And that's how you evolve. Without them, first of all, you're not, you won't evolve because you're not challenging yourself. Right. That's so great. Can we share an example, perhaps, obviously without sharing clients' names or anything, mm -hmm. but how you are able to assist a client in guiding them to this pro through this process. Yeah, so um, I can give you. So I was at a. a we'll, we'll help you to those are the those are the people that are in a professional and in their personal life because they're one. People think they're separate, but they're one. So I had a, a manager come up to me to one of my workshops and really understood my work because there's nothing like this in the world. And he said, you know, my son's always upstairs playing video games. I can't get him downstairs to interact with the family. So I asked him a few questions. We ascertained his sequence, which is what he was born with and why he was protecting himself because that's what he was doing. He was going into his, into his room, protecting himself. Within less than a week, his son was now downstairs interacting with the family and the father and son's relationship really skyrocketed because the father realized he was the one pushing his son back in the room. He was making wow. fun of him, things like that, because he didn't understand because that's how he grew up, right? He didn't understand what he was doing. Once he understood that, then it started to shift. Then he realized in his business, he was doing the same thing because that's his inborn sabotage and trait. That's how he protected himself as he shifted and how he started talking to his uh, differently to his employees, customers, things like that. Their relationship incre increased as well as his bottom line. So we see that consistently. Um, another example, we had a um, we had a coach who relationship with her husband wasn't doing that great. During the process of the program, their relationship within five weeks expanded and came much, much more loving and, uh, and much more improved because not only did she understand her sequence, she understood his, but he never knew she was taking the course. 
So once I know the sequence about you, I can tell you everything about you and never meet you. I can ask a couple of questions about your significant other, if you had one, or your business partner, or your child, or your father, or whomever. And then I will tell you all about them. And then I'll tell you how the two, you two interact and never ask you a question because we now know that each sequence and we know how each sequence relates to each other. So there's only six sequences of human behavior. So there's yeah. only six people in the world. Wow. Say that again. There's only six people, like six personalities in the world. That's Versus it. Sequences, right. Sequences. Like many other, yeah, many other personality tests and all that like disc and all everything else you have to take them like twice a year because things change once you understand your sequence it never changes you never have to understand how this uh, uh understand it let me phrase that never have to discover it that will always be with you and what happens is it always comes down to just one thing your inborn sabotaging trait you can tell me anything that's going on any negativity anything that's not working it always comes down to this one trait let me explain so you ever see the domino masters when they push the one domino and it goes right yes. and everything falls mm -hmm. and then let's say balloons are released well what's right. the last thing you see the balloons, balloons. Right. That's your imposter syndrome, your depression, your anxiety, your stress, whatever you feel last and you see. So what do we do? We take our coping methods and put them where? We put them on the balloons, not the one domino. So what's easier? Hold down the balloons to stop pushing the domino. That domino is your inborn sabotage trait that creates every negative emotion that you experience. And the reason why it continues to go over and over again, because everybody's focusing on the other dominoes instead of the one that started it all. That mm. domino, one push, goes down the route of frustration and desperation. But when you push the antidote, the exact opposite, it goes down the route of inspiration and motivation, guaranteed 100%. Wow. My mind is blown because I'm thinking of how I could have used you 20 years ago, how also I think every manager or everybody in the world needs this because what I'm thinking, and correct me if I'm wrong, these traits, Phil, these traits are kind of what we grow up with, right? Because mm -hmm. we look to protect ourselves and defend ourselves. Right. But then over time, as we become adults and grow into adulthood, they hold us back rather than protect us. And that's what we're talking about, right? It's the same it's, thing. It's the same Holding thing. Back right? And protection are the same thing. That's all. It's just for survival. And it's not that you're developing it within those seven years. You're born with it. That's what we found out. This is what you're born wow. with. And then the situations come while you're while you're going through because you're going through experiences in order to get yourself prepared for whatever you're here to do. Right. I'm so impressed also with how quickly, if you will, you can turn or help turn people around because you've given a couple of examples. And that's the other thing I was thinking, like, wow, what an efficient process. How how were you able to nail it down so quickly? Because you just get right to the heart of the matter. Well, when I first found it, I was like, this is too simple. There's no way. So I went out to try to disprove it because my reputation is very important to me. And over sure. 30 years, researching thousands upon thousands of people, uh, we were able to find, how, we were, I was able to prove it and we're able to now know how to switch it off. And whether you're a billionaire or a child, this works always. So you're going back to that manager. Imagine, I don't know if you ever had an employee where you're like, oh my God, they have so much potential. I just can't reach them. What happened, what's happening is, is that you're trying to support them in the way you think they need to be supported, not how they need to be supported, which is really how you need to be supported. So imagine knowing someone's inborn sabotaging trait and antidote. You'll know exactly how to support them. And we've had low employee uh, performing employees shift to high performers in a couple of weeks. Imagine wow. knowing your children and why you're not reaching them. Imagine knowing a potential client, why they're resisting your closing. See, when you don't close, it's your inborn sabotage and trait stopping you from closing because it's more painful to close that person than not. So we have a, a, a system in order to help increase closing rates, but it's always comes down to the one inborn sabotage and trait. I know it sounds incredible. I know it sounds it can't be true. Trust me. 
but no one has ever proven this wrong from Jack Canfield, Jabil Walls to so many other big names and Fortune 500 companies to managers down to the startups to seven year old children. It always works. And that's what wow. we were, I was able to discover. And I don't say that lightly. So right. that's, <laughs> so that's, uh, and, and if you don't believe it and you're like, as is baloney, it's actually your inborn sabotage and trait protecting you from you thinking what you think this is all about. So be based on your, your experience with other people to it. You know, I've been burned many a times from marketers to other things as, as well. But as entrepreneurs, you need to continue to moving forward. But by understanding why you may overly engage or you may withdraw because there's only two ways we protect ourselves. We over-engage, right. we start screaming, yelling, or we go after, or we're scattered, we're all over the place. Uh, we overly give or you withdraw. You don't say anything or you get hyper-focused and three days later you emerge and finally you get done and you realize I didn't do everything else. So wow. there's only two ways you protect over-engagement or withdraw. By using the antidote, you immediately go in to the balance trait instantaneously. Fascinating. Now, Phil, is this all done one-to-one? -one? So in practical terms, um, how has this work been? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, way back when I used to do one on ones, but we found that doing a group coaching was much more effective. So our program, we have a 12 week program that we guarantee within one to two weeks, you'll stop sabotaging yourself immediately. Um, but what happens is it's a 12 week program. You have some trainings, you only do an hour worth of trainings and you focus on one thing a week. That's it. Mm. And you immediately start seeing things shift. And then you come on with uh, you have three options during the week. You can come on and listen and engage in the group coaching. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, as well. So the whole entire program is, is based over the years and the thousands of people I've worked with that this program is to a point where we can get entrepreneurs, uh, business owners, whomever, salespeople to where right. they need to be, understand what's blocking them so they can move forward and have the impact that they know they can make on themselves and others. I love this. If you were to take a guess, it seems to me that the majority of professionals could use this type of work. Like yeah. what's a percentage? It's not 80-20. I feel it's 99-1. One. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Because it's anybody. Excuse it's me. Anybody. I've had multimillionaires can get to the next level or they have all the money they want, but their personal life is crap. OK, so um, I have people that are trying to get their business. They're focusing on their business and not focusing on their personal life or they're focusing on their personal life and not their business. You have to have that balance. So no matter who you are, if you're feeling that you are in protection, which you always are, if you're not in protection, you're not growing as a business owner. So imagine knowing what to do 100% of the time to repeat your success. The antidote is there to show you how to repeat your success. We get it wow. down to a point where we actually even give you one subconscious word that you use that stops all your goals. It stops it in the past. It is stopping them now and it'll stop it for the rest of your life. Might be a good word to know. Yeah. Once you understand that one word, we give you five steps to neutralize it instantly and prove to you, you have to achieve your goals. We dive into that your own business has its own inborn sabotage and trade and antidote. So we show you how you and your staff subconsciously sabotage the business by using your saboteur and enhancing the business's saboteur. The business is just like a person. It's an entity. But by right. you using your antidote to the business antidote, it's a matter of shift. And now you realize I've been focusing on the wrong aspect. We've had, mm. uh, we've had companies, $50 million company, $150 million companies, and partners or board of directors at each other's throats where we had to, sh we shifted it around realizing wow. they were, they didn't hate each other. They just were protecting themselves. We've saved mm. marriages were the point is it wasn't that they hated each other. It was that we're protecting themselves. They're open to change and start to work. We can help these people. We've helped business uh, partners come back together again. I've had a bus two business partners where they had to separate, but they separated amicably because they realized it, not to take it personally. It was just they were protecting themselves. 
so brilliant. Like, I just want to just hurry up and tell everybody where to reach you. But I have one magic question before we, before we wrap oh, it magic up. Because I'm, in, I'm into magic. No, I'm kidding. You're Go into ahead. magical <laughs> question. Well, it, it's just with all of this work that you get to do and what an incredible service you offer. Like, I, I am still. Thank you. I, I am blown away by this wonderful um trail that you've created and just out there just helping people in a small amount of time i think we can all use that but with all that you get to do do you have a favorite piece of clothing or accessory and how does it make you feel that you reach for when you know you have something big coming on well it depends on the situation but if we're looking at business going out mm -hmm. and meeting people and all that uh i would say a really really great nice blue suit no tie uh, cufflinks. It just makes you feel good. And, um, and just it, not that I need that, but it just feels better. And then the other end, <clears throat> some shorts hang out and just chill, excuse me. <clears throat> so there's, there's, yeah. there's two. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. I'm not surprised. You gave me two answers based on, you know, how you've it's... presented your research, right? I, I think <laughs> exactly. that's perfect and it matches. So if someone was interested, Phil, and I don't know why they wouldn't be after listening to, there are some success stories in there, um, you know, where would they reach you? Where's the best place for them to find you just to learn more about what we discussed briefly today? Yeah, well, I, I can uh, share a link uh, to a 12 minute video that we have after they watch the 12 minute video, they have an opportunity to fill out a little questionnaire and then make an appointment with us uh, for 45 minutes to determine if they are actually a candidate for the program. Mm. We don't say that like, cause it's a sales pitch. We say that because it's actually true. We've told people, no, I don't think this is right for you. Or it'll, it'll tell them that we don't think based on your questions that this course is right for you because right. we want people that are coachable. We want people that are committed and we want people who are resourceful. If people are not willing to be resourceful, then this is just going to be wasting their time and their money. And like I told you, my reputation is very important to me. And the reason why we have such success, high success rates is because we're picking the people that we know that we can help that are willing to do what they need to do. And it doesn't mean those yeah. other people are losers. It just means that at that moment in time, their saboteur is so strong. They're in such protection that they right. don't see the opportunity, but maybe six months from now they will or whatever the case may be. So we can give that to you um, as well. I would love that because I'll put that in the show notes. And I love how you're there to serve those people who are ready. We, it is a point in our lives that we're aware to moving forward and growing and learning. And it's just, it's such an admirable, admirable trait that you have there, Phil. And oh, I so appreciate the work that you do. I'm so thrilled that we got to connect and present your brilliance here on the show today. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to uh, share this with everyone in the world. Well, thank you so much. And I hope this was valuable for your audience and for yourself. Yep. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.